we'll be looking at how to subtract fractions. And we'll look at both subtractions, like this problem here. And we're also going to look at uh, mixed numbers and how to subtract mixed numbers as well. So we're just going to start with this first problem. And again, we're going to continue to use fraction circles. And since we don't have them in front of us on the screen, we'll just demonstrate using the fraction circle clip art pieces to make it work. So using our fraction circles, we're going to figure out how we would solve this problem. So 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. Here I have 3 four, fourths, and I'm just going to shade in, and I'll highlight actually, 3 fourths. Each. So that would be like this piece, this one, and this one. Three of the four pieces. And so that one's there. And then it says we're going to take away one third. So over here I have a fraction circle cut into three pieces. I'm going to shade in one third of it. And I want to take those two pieces away to see what I have left. Now, the pieces aren't the same size. So just like we did with adding fractions, we need to get a common denominator so that I can actually see how many pieces we're taking away from each other. And so the common denominator between 4 and 3 is going to be 12. So I'm just going to split this all into 12. So in this one, we're going to be splitting each of our fourths into three pieces. So there, there, and here. Of course, if we're using fraction circles, all the pieces would be the same size. And here in our third, we're going to split this third into fourths. So there's half of it. There's the other half. Not quite equal, but we'll, we'll do the trick. And so now I can see that three-fourths is the same as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelfths. So I'm just going to rewrite it over here as nine twelfths. Minus one-third, which is the same as one, two, three, four, twelfths. And now I can take away nine minus four, which is five. So I have five twelfths left. The bottom stays and that would be my answer. So when we are subtracting fractions, we're simply going to get common denominators and then subtract the fractions. We're going to subtract the numerators. The denominator stays the same. So just like we were doing with adding fractions. So let's try one. We're just going to do one just so you get the idea. Um, let's try this one. Five ninths minus one third. First of all, we need a common denominator between nine and three. And in this case, our common denominator is going to be nine. So I'm going to rewrite the denominators using 9. We get from 9 to 9, we're going to times by 1, or it's just going to stay the same. So this would be 5. We get from 3 to 9, we're going to times by 3. And whatever we do to the bottom, we're going to do to the top as well and get 3. Now that the denominators are the same, I can simply subtract the numerators. 5 minus 3 is 2, so 2 ninths. 5 ninths minus 1 third equals so when you're subtracting fractions, get common denominators, and then simply subtract the top, simplify if you need to, which in this case we did. Well, now let's say we have a mixed number and we need to subtract. What are we going to do in this case? Actually, we're going to do the same thing. So our first step is to get common denominators. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as 3 and something minus the other fraction. And our common denominator between 2 and 4 is going to be 4. So I can see that the second fraction is going to stay the same. And to get from 2 to 4, we're going to times by 2. And whatever we do to the bottom, we're going to do to the top. So 1 times 2 is 2. Now I'm going to subtract the fraction. 2 fourths minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. And 3, we're going to subtract the whole numbers next minus, there is none here, so it's like 3 minus 0, which is 3. Hold on. I'm using my mouse again today, so the handwriting isn't great. But 3 and 2 fourths minus 1 fourth will give us 3 and 1 fourth. So same thing we just did with our fractions on the previous page, but we're just going to subtract the mixed numbers at the end. All right, now we're going to try another one with a mixed number and subtracting and see what happens in this case, and we're going to look at it with our fraction circles again. So this one says we have 2 and 1 fourth. So again, I'm going to shade in some of this. 2 and 1 fourth, that would be this hole. And this hole, there's our two holes. And then 1 fourth. So there's 2 and 1 fourth. 
and we're going to take away one third again. So here's our one third. And so this is just like we were doing on the last problem. Let's get common denominators. So between four and three, the common denominator is going to be 12. So here I have, put this one into three pieces, and this one into four pieces. And then on the last page, we said when we subtract mixed numbers, we're going to subtract the fractions. That would be these two. Here you have three pieces minus four pieces. Oh, well, if I only have three pieces, I can't take four away. So there's something else we have to do in this problem. we got common denominators, but I can't end up with a negative fraction. That, that doesn't work. So I can't do three minus four. So there's an extra step in this one. We have to be able to regroup. And so let's try that, see what it looks like. I am going to highlight everything again like we had before. Here was our one third and our one fourth. And these two were our two wholes. And then our next step was getting our common denominator. So I'm just going to put that back in here again and putting our common denominator in here. So now what I'm going to do. And I'm going to change one of these holes into 12, into more pieces, because then I'll have more pieces to take away. So I'm going to split this one into 12 as well. So that would be 4. And then I'm going to split this one into 3 pieces. This one into 3 pieces. Definitely they're not even sizes, but I think you'll get the idea. And split this one into 3 pieces. So I'm going to rewrite this problem with what I have now. I have one whole plus I have 12 twelfths plus I have that one fourth. So that's all that part of the problem right here. I just rewrote that. So now I'm going to rewrite it so it actually looks like a mixed number again. So one plus 12 twelfths plus one fourth is like one and 13 fourths. Or I'm going to change this actually into 12, which was 4 12. So I think that'll make it a little bit easier here. So I have, let's rewrite this part here 1 and 12 12 plus 4 12, 3 12 rather. I guess this is a bad day for doing this problem. 1 and 3 12 because up here you can see that we have. Three twelfths. All right, so the one and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen twelfths. If I look up above, I can see that I have fifteen pieces. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So one and fifteen twelfths minus here I have four twelfths. So now I just rewrote the whole problem because I split one of our holes into pieces. Now can I subtract? I have fifteen pieces. Can I take four away? Yes, I can, which would be eleven. And then I can subtract my whole numbers, 1 minus, there isn't any other one, so we still have one whole. So now I have 1 and 11 twelfths. All right, since we had trouble with that one, let's try one more with fraction circles. And we're going to have to regroup again, but this will help us get that idea again. So 1 and 2 fifths, I'm going to shade in 2 of the 5 pieces over here. This would be 1, this would be 2. And we're going to subtract one half. Just like we've been doing the other problems, first step is going to be to get our common denominator. So between five and two, our common denominator is going to be ten. So that means I'm going to split each of these in half. And I'm going to have to split this into five pieces. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So now I have four twelfths, and I'm going to take away five twelfths. Again, I can't do that. We don't want to end up with negative fractions. So let's take our whole number here and split it up into ten, into pieces. So we're going to split it up into one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we have ten pieces and four pieces and we're going to take away five pieces. So let's rewrite this problem with what we actually have. I now have 10 tenths. That was our whole before.
four, we cut it up into ten pieces. Plus, we have one, two, three, four tenths. So that's what that first fraction looks like. So I'm going to rewrite it. So it's ten plus four. I really have fourteen tenths in that first part of our problem. And I'm going to take away five tenths. Can we do that now? Yes, we can. And 14 minus 5 is 9 tenths. So our answer would be 9 tenths. We're going to try one last problem and see if we can figure it out without using fraction circles. So when we are subtracting, we're going to do it just like we've been doing, but we might have to have that extra step of regrouping. So first things first, get common denominators. Between 4 and 5, our common denominator is going to be 20. I'm going to rewrite it up here. Minus, rewrite that second part. To get from 4 to 20, I'm going to times by 5. And whatever I do to the bottom, I'm going to do to the top. So 3 times 5 is 15. And here I'm going to times by 4, times by 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. Ah, we can see we have 15 20 minus 16 20. Can't give away 16 pieces if we only have 15, so we're going to have to do some regrouping. So let's take one of our whole numbers and turn it into pieces. Well, we're going to be splitting it up into 20 pieces this time. So it's going to be, we're going to have two holes left. Take one of those holes and split it up into 20 pieces. So that would be our 20 20. Plus, we still have our 15 20 in that first part. So all I'm doing right now is rewriting that first fraction. And I'm going to rewrite it one more time so it looks like a mixed number again. So it's not all these pieces. So I'm going to have two. And 20 plus 15 will give us 35 twentieths. And we're going to subtract 16 twentieths. Now we can actually subtract. So I have 35 minus 16. So that's the first part that we're going to do. Which I believe will give us 19, but we can double check. 35 minus 16. Can't do 5 minus 6, so I'm going to regroup, just like we're doing in this problem. 15 minus 6 will give us 9. 2 minus 1 is 1, so this would be 19 20. And then don't forget about your whole numbers. 2 minus nothing there, that's like 0, is 2. So I have 2 and 19 20. So when we subtract fractions, if they're just two fractions and no whole numbers, we're just going to get common denominator subtract. If we have mixed numbers, we're going to do the same thing, but after we subtract our fractions, we'll subtract our whole numbers. And if we're subtracting fractions and subtracting mixed numbers and we can't subtract with what we have, we're going to have to do some regrouping before we subtract.